All right, we're going to get a little trickier in this section. So I've got a question for you to think about briefly. I want you to think about um, recently marijuana has been legalized in several states. And I want you to um, think about this question. Is that going to cause the price to increase or decrease? Hmm. Well, let me kind of throw another angle on that. So what effect is the legalization of marijuana going to have on the demand for marijuana? Okay. Well, I think pretty clearly we're going to see that this increases the demand for marijuana. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, prosecution. Um, you don't have to worry so much about, um, you know, talking to seedy characters to, um, to get marijuana. Okay. So I think this is clear that this is going to increase the demand for this. Okay. Well, what about supply? Um, what is this going to do to the supply of marijuana? Well, for similar reasons, I think this is going to increase the supply of marijuana. It's suddenly not illegal to produce. So, um, people will be able to probably mass produce it. Um, also, you know, they'll not have to do it in illegal ways, which is going to save them a ton of money when you're able to go through legal channels instead of illegal channels. So if we see an increase in demand and an increase in supply, what is that going to mean for the price of marijuana? You know, let's think about this. Well, I'm going to see a, let's, an increase in demand, um, I'll call this D2, and an increase in supply, S2. Now, one thing is very, very, very clear as we move from here to here, and that is that quantity ha um, has increased. I've talked to people before who've said, well, the legalization of marijuana isn't going to change the number of people who use marijuana. I have a hard time with this argument. Um, doesn't really seem to be any evidence that backs that up. Um, it, it seems pretty clear that um, both of these are going to increase the uh, production and the consumption of marijuana. Okay. Now, less clear is what this is going to do with price. Now, with the way that I've drawn this right here, you'll see that the price stayed about the same. Now, that's not necessarily what's going to happen. Let's say that the change in supply winds up being much greater. Then you'll see the um, price drops here. Well, Let's say that instead, it is the demand shift that is greater. So all of a sudden, that leads to a price increase. So all of this was a really sneaky way to get you to talk about what happens when um, there's a demand shift and a supply shift at the same time. Well. Let's look at what we already know about supply shifts and demand shifts. We already kind of know what this behavior is going to look like. We know that when demand increases, we see um, quantity increase and price increase. When we see supply increase, we see a quantity increase and a price decrease. So when you combine these effects together, you'll notice the same effect on quantity in both of these. So what we expect is to see a, a even larger increase in quantity because these effects are combined. But these price effects are working against each other. So it's not completely clear what the effect on price is going to be. It might increase, it might decrease. It kind of depends on which is the stronger effect, the, um, the increase in demand or the increase in supply. Let's do another example. So let's say that I look at 
the market for um, DVDs, okay? Now, the market of DVDs is interesting because over time, the market for CDs and DVDs, um, they're less popular now, which means that demand has decreased. But at the same time, we are really, really good at making CDs and DVDs. Um, the technology has been around for a long time, so we know how to produce it, and we know how to produce it cheaply. So that means supply has been increasing. So let's do this before we graph it, and then we'll, we'll graph it to look at it again. So a demand decrease. That's this guy right here. Um, a supply increase. That's this guy right here. Well, what do these have in common? Well, both of these are going to lead to a price decrease. So if anything, we know that we should expect the price of C CDs and DVDs to decrease. Okay. Um, but as far as quantity is concerned, um, quantity is going down because of demand and quantity is going up because of supply. So um, we're not certain what the effect on quantity is going to be. Well, if we look at the real world, it's pretty clear what the effect on quantity is. The quantity of DVDs is going down slowly, okay? Um, CDs going down a little more rapidly. So if the quantity is decreasing, then the question is, which is the greater effect, uh, demand or supply? Well, if the quantity is going down, that means that demand is what's really driving this. So let's draw this. So let's draw a dramatic decrease in demand and a slight increase in supply. And this shows kind of what we said before. Definitely a dramatic price drop, and the quantity is decreasing a little bit because demand is the more dramatic effect. So to combine two of these effects, you basically just take the effects of one, take the effects of the other, and combine them. All right, and you can figure out when you have effects going in the opposite direction, um, whichever is the largest, that's what's going to determine the direction of that movement, if there is any. All right.